Hi, it's Pen Pen on the Phoenix Craft server. I'm standing at Endport, uh, which is our city and development um, out near the End Portal, hence the name Endport. Uh, and I'm standing on the site of the public hall, which I've agreed to make. Um, and when I talked to Atlantius, who is organizing Endport, I said, oh, I need something about 60 blocks square. He's given me 24. So yeah, this is going to be tricky. Um, you can see the layout here. This is all the space I have to work with. And it's in Parisian style, which is, you know, frothy and floofy and colorful and lots of towers. So yeah, this, uh, this is going to be a challenge. So yeah, we'll see how we go. So it took me a day to design uh, the town hall that I wanted in Parisian style. Ended up going for a sort of Art Nouveau, very frothy, very fun, I think, town hall design. Uh, ended up being 32 by 33, which is, you know, only 10 blocks wider than I was given. But that's all right. You know, we have to compromise. Everyone has to compromise. So I'm here in the end now gathering end stone uh, because I need to level and landscape the area before I start building. Uh, so once that's done, I can actually start. Now this project is going to be huge because it's all sandstone. I have no sandstone. Plenty of people have been offering to sell me sand. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm a little lacking in diamonds. Uh, because for two days in a row, I lost my entire set of gear. Uh, <laughs> it was a really, really bad two days. So the first time I was hunting with a skeleton in the nether, um, and a skeleton attacked a pigment, which aggroed all the pigments. So <laughs> I was running away from then, run, 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 got myself cornered in a room, blocked off. I was really happy with that. I was like, yeah, fantastic. I'm going to live. Turned around. There was a wither skeleton behind me and he killed me. So uh, I called Will, Weird William in and said, help, come and get, help me get my gear back. Uh, he did. He promptly died. <laughs> we called Possessed Zombie, who came down, arrived just in time to see William's gear despawn. So we, we both had a really bad day. So I spent the rest of that day putting my gear back together, like, you know, top tier sword, armor, bow, uh, tools, the whole lot. Spent the whole day doing that. Uh, and then Lobby was out at the Ender Ender um, and said, oh, I don't know, he had a, I can't even remember what his question was, but I went, all right, I went all admin and I teleported out to him and I had a look and everything was fine. Yep, yep. And then foolishly, I teleported back to my original coordinates in the overworld, except I was in the end. So I teleported into the void and died. I was so mad at myself, like you have no idea. I just sat there for five minutes going, you stupid idiot. What were you thinking? And of course I had all my gear on me. So that was another entire set, top tier gear, lost. Yeah, so it's taken me three stacks of diamonds and two days to get everything back again. And now as you can see, I'm paranoid. I'm wearing a pumpkin on my head so I can collect endstone because I really don't want to die again. And I'm going to have to spend hours mining to recoup all my diamonds, of which I had three stacks and I now have half a stack, uh, before I can buy the sandstone I need to make the town hall. So this is the saga of Pen Pen building the Endport town hall. It's a very sad story, uh, but, <laughs> you know, funny, I guess. Good job, Pen Pen. I mean, that was just excellent work on all counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, oh, I ran out of stuff, but 33, that's, that's pretty good, that's uh, going to fit quite nicely in this block, yeah, okay, I'm going to build up the retaining walls uh, and then go from there. Yeah, so here I am in the end, gathering end stone. Uh, I know you're all saying, but Pen, you just did that. We just saw the clip. You've made a mistake. No, no, no. This is not what happened. It's been a very exciting 24 hours on the server. Uh, the admin team decided to work on permissions and we forgot to back up the server before we did and we had some rollback 17 hours worth of rollback uh it wasn't pretty a lot of people were really cranky about it um but a lot of people you know just sort of took it in their stride and went oh well um but that's why i am back here collecting more end stone also in case you hadn't noticed, it's 2019, yay! Well, it's 2019 day two for me, but for some of our server people, it's uh, it's still pretty early. Oh, yay, Atlantis's temporary home has a roof, awesome. Uh, so I've been working hard the last couple of days. <laughs> Maybe not through the fire, Atlantis. Um, working on the foundations for the town hall. Uh, and it was, I kind of wish I'd recorded it, but then again, I'm glad I didn't because I got the dimensions wrong so many times. Um, it was off by one on one side and I could not work out why nothing was connecting up. But the foundations are done. It's settled in its location, got the roads going on around it. Uh, yeah, and I'm actually ready to start work this is exciting i'm looking forward to this build um it's all been planned out and creative so i'm not actually designing it i'm just putting it together i have a bazillion shulker boxes full of sandstone and sand thanks to dastravam thanks das and lobby uh and yeah let's get to it oh thanks atlantis Okay, so I'm just finishing up the frontage here. Uh, went with iron railings so for a really formal look uh, and to just, you know, blow all of my iron, which, you know, I seem to do quite a lot anyway. So, hey, who needs iron? Who needs iron? Okay, that's, that's pretty much done, I think. This is the road down to the docks. Haven't been built yet. And yeah, time to start the frame. It's all flat now. This is the floor. Nice big area. Uh, oh, there's my sugarcane farm. Hi, sugarcane farm. Right. Time to get some height on this. So we've got the grand entrance here. Uh, and this build, which is, uh, it's Art Nouveau style. So, as I mentioned in a previous video, very Parisian, very colourful, very floofy. Uh, and it relies a lot on depth and, which means that the walls are actually three deep. So this is sort of the very front of the build here. This is where all the shape comes in. And then you have the wall here and then the windows actually sit all the way back here um, and that's how you get depth into a build in minecraft is you can't do a one wide wall um, and expect it to look anything except flat uh, where for example there's a build in progress over there and you can see with just the one wall in it it's just it's flat you know there's nothing you can do to make that have depth uh, you can give it texture but if you want depth, 
your walls need to be wider than one block. All right, so let's get into this. And here is the basic shape of the front. Uh, and you can see, you can see the depth, even without the windows behind and the color highlights. Um, just by moving that wall back one, um, it gives it lots of shadows. I mean, sandstone, I love building in sandstone. It's one of my favorite blocks, but it is a very uniform color. Uh, little texture changes between the smooth sandstone and the plain sandstone but if you have a build that's just sandstone um, and you get far away it all blends together so having shadows and using stairs and slabs for shape um, helps to give a definition and make it look a little less like one big sort of creamy yellow block uh, which it can do very easily so what I need to do now is echo that on the other side um, and then work on this bit, which is the entrance to the town hall. Yeah, I know there's concrete machines, blah, blah, things you can use. I clearly am not pro enough to use them. That should be enough. Uh, so I'm just going to do this my way. Oh, so I need my awesome pick. I'm using an iron pick because I get sick to death of <laughs> breaking about a bazillion blocks with my good pick when I'm just trying to break one. Yeah, that's that's painless. That was all right. Oh, hello. Now, let's get some color in this build. This is the best bit. And you might be thinking, Pen, what are you doing? Now the brick, that looks pants. Trust me, trust the process. It will all come together beautifully in the end. Beautifully, I tell you. Here we go. No, that's the wrong color. There we don't go. Wrong block pen. That does look pants. That's way too bright. What I meant to use was the blue terracotta. There we go. That's better. Lovely. Yes. That's what I meant to do all along. Nobody saw anything else. And the other place that they go is here. I'm going to need more terracotta. Darn it. Okay, so I suppose I should put the glass in before I have another look, but I'm going to have another look anyway. So instantly that adds a lot of depth to the build and a lot of definition because instead of just having whole walls of cream we now have contrasty colors and the blue terracotta is a nice neutral blue it's well it's I'd call it purple but it's called blue terracotta um, and the nether brick slabs are because you can't get terracotta slabs so that's I really wish that they would give other blocks slabs and I believe in the 1.14 update that's what they're doing but for now you sort of have to work with what you've got um, but the purpose of the the nether brick slabs is just to give that extra bit of definition and shape because in it makes the blue terracotta look like instead of a block like a half block it looks better 
uh, I'm going to put in some windows and put in the blue concrete and we'll go from there. I prefer to use stained glass than clear glass um, because it just doesn't look as bad. Now, in clear glass, again, something else I, I hear that they're changing in 114 can't come fast enough because the current glass texture is pants. It's absolute pants. Alrighty. And one last finishing touch before I have another look. Let's get... Oh, gosh, I really need to do something about my armour. <clears throat> yeah, later. Later. Busy building. No time for armour. Boop. And other side. Parkouring around. What? <laughs> That's great. I just throw away my pick. Good thing I came over here. Uh, what? Again. Uh, okay. I think. Well, I'm not complaining. I now have two identical silk touch picks. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you, server, for catching up with reality. Good to see. Now that we're back in the land of... All right. One, two... Now let's go... Have a look at this. There we go. So originally I went for, <laughs> who's in there? Oh, Wazza, hi Wazza. Uh, originally I went for light blue, terracotta and concrete, but it was, yeah, it was too light. It didn't give enough dimension to the build. So I like the dark blue uh, terracotta and the dark blue concrete. I think that works well together. Yeah. Uh, all right. Time to put a roof on the entranceway and then... <laughs> I was a... Get off my roof. All right. That's the lower level frontage done, um, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if other people build like this um, or if it's just me, but I like to finish the look of a place, uh, like the, the style, the design, before I actually go and do the structure. I mean, I know what the structure is going to be. It's not like I'm making it up, but I, well, I am making it up, but I mean, I'm not making it up on the fly. Um, so I actually haven't built anything except the front, but now it feels uh, more like a building to me. I can build the rest of it knowing that the front is done, um, all of the tricky bits. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. I mean, I did the same when I was building this little sugarcane farm over here. Well, I, I finished the sugarcane farm. It was already half built. And then I put this um, sort of pre-war style um, warehousey look over the top of it. I mean, I didn't have a lot of space to work with. And what <laughs> really drove me insane was that the sugarcane farm wasn't centered on the space. You can see that the center of the farm is actually, whoops, let's just put some dirt there. The 
the center of the farm is actually here, but the center of the building is here. Uh, yeah. So I originally went with lime wool instead of lime glass, but it just, it looked too flat. So I ended up going back to the lime glass and I'm glad I did, you know, even though it's not centered, you can't really see unless you look closely. If you go and peer in the windows, you can see that it's off center, but the building itself is centered on the tiny patch of land that it had to occupy. And it's got that real sort of, uh, early industrial you know broken brick a little bit grimy look which you know that that's every industrial estate i've ever been on they end up looking just a little bit battered um, and for the roof i went for the spruce because on its own gray bricks even with texture on a, on their own gray bricks look I don't know they just look flat they suck a lot of the color into them because they are very neutral and very colorless and the spruce behind it makes that curved frontage pop um, it really makes it stand out whereas if you didn't have the spruce uh, the gray brick sort of gets lost in the sky so by adding that extra bit of depth just here it makes that gorgeous sort of, yeah, I said gorgeous. I mean it. I love this sort of, again, Art Nouveau style of curves and spaces and color. Um, it really makes it pop. It makes the front of the building a feature, even though the building itself is like it's, it's three materials. It's stone brick, spruce wood and lime glass. And yet it has a lot of depth because I've left these little cutouts and because I've put the spruce behind to give it that, um, that extra backing to make the front stand out. I'm pretty happy with that, even though it is squashed between the enormous uh, cactus farm. <laughs> and I don't know what's going here, but currently there are just a couple of spruce trees. So yeah, so the same sort of, um, technique used in the town hall if we just toddle over here and have a look oh my god so many shulker boxes if we toddle over here and have a look so you can see behind the architectural detail at the front so where i've got those dark blue things behind that i've just put a row of the dark blue terracotta and that makes these um sort of imprints i guess you'd call them the overlays that i've done there it makes them stand out whereas if there was sandstone behind it you would lose the definition on the edges of those overlays uh, and they would just blend into the rest of the building so i guess never be afraid to use color uh, especially as a contrast to make whatever structure that you're building stand out all right time to work on the sides i think uh, yeah so i have a problem I need to remove one row of sandstone but there's a spider and a creeper underneath here <laughs> um, and sandstone traditionally doesn't go well with creepers where are you I mean I really should have filled it in but I didn't want to use the blocks now I'm regretting it very much. Oh, there's the spider. Hello. <laughs> you died. Well, that was all right. I don't know where the creep has gone. You know what? I don't want to know. Shh. Nobody. Everything's fine. So I'm doing both the sides at the same time. Because traditionally, when I build, I miscount. And if I build one side and then come back and do the other, guarantee you that one of the sides will be wrong. And I will spend half an hour 
staring at it, counting blocks, getting nowhere, getting frustrated. So to save myself that pain at a later date, or hopefully save myself that pain at a later date, I'm doing all of the side building um, at the same time. So on the sides, on the lower floor, I originally had windows, uh, but then Atlantis said, hey, what about columns? And I thought, you know what, that is a fantastic idea uh, because A, it saves on glass and B, well, I mean, the sides of these sort of buildings are never very exciting. It's always the frontage that makes the impact. Um, you know, you go into the city and you look at some of these fancy buildings and you go down the alleyway beside them and they're just a blank wall. So the sides don't have to be particularly nice, uh, except these sides, because it's on a corner, are very visible. So I wanted something that was a little bit impressive, um, but without being too decorative, because honestly, all you're going to see as you run by is, oh, oh, that's satisfying nice row of clean tidy columns yeah I like that I like that a lot all right time to finish up the sides and then work on the back I just wanted to come back on briefly I've finished the wall but while I was building I thought I'd take a moment and illustrate the difference between a two deep wall which is this and a three deep wall which is this. So it isn't a huge difference, like it's a huge difference in terms of space, but compare that to this. And you can see just by having that one bit of extra depth, you get more shadows and you get more shape and it looks interesting as you pass by. Whereas this one, yeah, not quite so interesting. If we look at it from here, very flat, but look at the difference in, like I don't have a lighting pack or anything, but look at the difference in lighting as you go past this side, the 2D, compared to the 3D. It makes a huge difference. Uh, and incidentally, yes, this is a massive mob spawning uh, platform right there and I'm probably going to regret it later down the track when someone gets a creeper blowing up my lovely sandstone building. But look, it's worth it uh, in terms of how much better it looks just having that extra bit of depth in there. Okay, I'm going to sleep before I get phantomized and then I'm gonna finish this build. Okay, finally getting around to doing the back of the town hall. Uh, it has a grand balcony, which will eventually look over the beautiful gardens, <coughs> beautiful gardens, which we'll build here. Um, and it's again, reasonably plain, um, but more dressed up than the sides. So just sort of doing these structural bits and then filling in and then yeah we'll see how we go and then that's the first floor nearly done amazing and there it is back the first floor completely done and I'm going to call it there for the day because I'm sick of building and I can already see something that needs fixing um, but yeah this is good, making good progress. And tomorrow I'll come back and I'll do the second floor and the tower. And yeah, it is looking governmental. I like that. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Hi, A. That's me out. Oh my God, my armor. Okay, I know what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. Uh, <laughs> getting my armor back. Bye, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.